Hello everybody again, this is Michael Quincy Stratman from ME Lighting International and we are looking today in our tips and tricks video for DOT 2 about the magic button and well, we see a lot of faders in there. We start with the programmer time, proc time. What's the proc time? The proc time is the time for your programmer. What is the programmer? The programmer is everything you do by hand. I select the slides, I say add, add, this is your programmer. These values are now in the programmer and you've seen they go in zero seconds. At zero, pop, they are off. With the programmer time activated, it becomes light green. Now it's switched on. It takes this timing for everything you do in your programmer. So if I say add, add now, Wonderful, they take exactly this timing. For me, for live performances, to do lighting on live, this is essential. I do complete festivals only with presets. A lot of position presets, a lot of global presets, and you easily come through the evening if you don't know your band or what will happen on stage. So this is essential for me. I don't want to press magic all the time to get there. I need this permanently. So I want to store it down on my playback. How do I do that? This is a time, exec, executor timing. We talk about this later. Programmer time is a timing. So the syntax is store me a time and then I need an empty fader. For example, this one. The console asked me, I know two timings, the executor timing and the programmer time. I want the programmer time. So now I've got this fader down here on my playback. If you want to use this, if you say, I only have a core, I need all my six faders, then put it, if you want your programmer time, to your virtual playback. This is a virtual playback of Fader Wing 2, and you can have it in here. You could again say store me a time here and choose the programmer time. They run in parallel. You can do things like this. What happens if you push this up? This goes from zero seconds to maximum 10 seconds. And the fantastic thing is that this works linear. Why should it not? What executor fader is this? Number one. So I'm on page one, executor one. So what I could say is, for example, if you want to work like this, exec 1.1 .1 at 30 means, oh, whatever done wrong, executor 1.1 .1 at 30. 30 means 30% means 3 seconds. There are some people, I belong to them as well, that do queues, empty queues up here and put this command into the queue at 1, at 10, at 20, at 50, at 60, at 90, and they got timing buttons then. Hmm. So you can use the command line to influence this as well. And how does it look like? Of course, this takes now five seconds. These ones at at in five seconds they go there. Position to the backdrop in this timing. I want to have it quicker onto the keyboard and they go there. You know all this. What else do you need to know? You need to know if you want to switch something off and you choose MA off, everything off, this means also the timing. It's deactivated, it's not light green anymore, and it's set to zero. Whoops. So if you want to switch executors off, tell the console to turn executors off. And this is an executor, but not meant as an executor. It's a timing. So turn all executors off. Turns all executors off, but not this one. 
So whenever you switch something off, remember, choose this one. If you choose this one, your timing faders and the other ones as well that we don't talk about in this video will be switched off as well. Whoopa. That was programmer time. Hope you like it. Next time we talk about the executor time. Thank you very much. Happy programming. Take care, guys. See you again.